opportunity and you get to see things that you you wouldn't see before and the the sales management fellows I just I can't big big my mentor up enough he's been like he's always on the end of the phone and stuff and he's been really helpful for me and to these guys that are here now like make the most of every contact that you get because you never really know when you're going to meet somebody again <laughs> So the presentations that you had this evening, I mean, do they give you some great ideas for what you might use the award for, subject to winning the award? Yeah, so I'd like to do a placement maybe in French-speaking Africa, because then I can use my French and um, like do a kind of construction placement there one summer. Um, and there, I've looked at some schemes um, that allow you to do that. There's Engineers Without Borders and there's a couple of other ones. But obviously, because it's like a charity, you need to pay for your own like expenses while you're going there. So that would be a... That's what I would probably like to use it for, mainly. Um, I think I'd like to teach like a language, so probably um, Mandarin or something like that. I think. Because um, it's, it's definitely a great If I won the award, I would probably ask if I could do a yacht master course in France. Because like, then by the end of that course, you, uh, you're you essentially qualified to be in charge of 12 men and unite them and uh, build them full of morale on your boat. I think that's a fairly important leadership skill. really kind I mean they, they did their best to make it just being about being yourself um, and so because of that they, you can, can't really slip up you just give your honest answer and hope that it works what sold it to me was the opportunity that it gave you and um, through having money to 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 embark on some of the ideas that perhaps you'd have but you wouldn't quite have the resources or wouldn't feel that you'd be able to commit to them but Having found out a little bit later about the mentoring scheme, I think that would be invaluable because the people here, these are all people who have proven that they're going to have some ideas in the future. They do have some ideas and they're looking to work at the forefront of engineering. And it's invaluable to have somebody who's, who's been there, who's done that, who's, who's tried things, they've failed, they've tried again, succeeded ultimately. It's in invaluable to have those sorts of people there and their experience at hand. So. I think that's a major selling point for the ELA. Well, the one thing that really stands out is an absolute passion and excitement to make a difference. And that can come in many different forms, but you know it when you see it. looking for in the candidates is um, ideally examples of, of behavior from the past where they've demonstrated um, an unusual degree of uh, initiative and drive. Uh, resilience is, is an important factor when, when there were times in their lives or careers they've experienced difficulties and challenges and had to overcome them. We're also looking for people that can connect with other people. Crucial part of leadership has to deal with, not just with communication, but with being able to uh, engage and, and connect with other people. And finally, confidence. Confidence never goes amiss. <laughs> um, somebody that is, that is really comfortable in their own, in, in their own abilities. Mm -hmm.